Hey everyone, David Cook to Franco Painting and Wallpaper. We're here in our shop and I'm doing a quick video because this is an issue we had come up today, yesterday, of where the guys were saying that the cup was leaking. So you can see where the cup was leaking the paint from the tip. Uh, so after they left to go to the job site today, I started going through the gun. It wasn't an issue with the gun, so I started going through the cup. So I added lacquer thinner in here because I don't know if you can see or tell how much paint is in the bottom. But at some point they had a leaking cup and so the bottom of this thing is completely full of paint and where the air goes through you can see how that gummed up and on the bottom i just got done cleaning it out the bottom of the hose is still in there the inside of that hose you can see through that now but you couldn't before so that wasn't really helping matters either uh, the top of the cup itself um, this is where the issue comes in so you really want to make sure that on the top of this, it is, you can see, on the, maybe you can't, you can't. So you can kind of see, I just got done scraping a little while ago. And so these were the little pieces that kind of got shaved off from the side of it. Um, so you want to make sure that the top of that cup is extremely clean. Every time you're done painting, you want to take this apart. You want to wash this really good plastic brush, preferably if you have a brass one, use a brass one, don't use the metal one because it'll scratch it. And the more scratching you do, the more it'll ruin the seal. The cup itself also needs to be clean. So these little crush cups, they will get dirty. And you can see they haven't cleaned these. Um, we try and get them to wash them every day, but sometimes they don't. Um, so you want to make sure these are clean. There's no residual paint on the top of this corner. You want to make sure the bottom of these are clean. There's no paint. Like you can see, there's paint in there. Uh, so it's not getting a seal. And then the other place that's the issue is this top of the cup itself. You can see on that edge, on the inside of there, where there is paint still, that is probably the worst section of it. And you can see the paint was leaking out right at the top there. So if I can set this down, you can see on the inside of that little ridge, there's paint. And that white paint right there is where it was leaking from the top of the cup. So because of that little paint, believe it or not, it will cause, you can see a little bit more droplets right there, it will cause a gap between the cup, the crush cup, and the top seal. So that way when you put together, it's not compressing properly. It's not getting that seal that you're looking for that this provides. So again, you want to make sure this is clean, this is clean. And when you're done painting, same thing with the wire um, plastic brush. We have the little uh, ones for sprayers. Uh, we also have these brass ones. Uh, they got them at the job sites. But just little clean brushes, brass cleaning brushes. You can get them. Some of them are the size of a toothbrush, actually, so they actually work really nice. Home Depot sells a ton of them in big packets, so that's what we buy. Let's buy, a, like, 10 of them at a time. Um, and you want to make sure all that stuff gets cleaned out. And if you have that, you shouldn't have any problem with your gun leaking. Uh, if you have to, you have to bring out the big boy. So that's what we got in here. Um, you can kind of see it's starting to work its way loose, but there's a ton of paint inside here. So when they get done installing cabinets today, they'll be coming back and cleaning up guns and cleaning up cups. So that's their job today, so I'm sure they'll have fun. Uh, if you've got questions on spraying and the tools that we use to spray, give us a call. DeFranco Painting and Wallpaper, we're here to help you love the space you're in. God bless and have a great day.